All right, so I got back from my second pre-release event. I just, you know, got the code, play the code, whatever. Good luck with the code. Um, but my first pre-release event, this is my second pre-release kit. Uh, one of the guys was like, hey man, do you want my commons and uncommons? And I was like, sure. So now I've got this giant stack of cards. So let's, let's get started. Let's see what we pulled. Um... Also, I did a bunch of trading, and normally I try to show you guys what I got, but this got insane. So we've got, I pulled a Yargle in foil. This guy's OP. Uh, I like this Tarkir Dune Shaper. So I ended up winning with a Phyrexian, or like Phyrexians you control get X. Um, and a lot of creatures transform. So this was my big promo, was this Glissa Herald of Predation. And the Incubate tokens were like, Primo. Uh, Heliod gets completed, spoiler alert. That's fun. Damn, yeah, man. Damn. Yeah. Victor Adamandegi. I love that guy. This guy. Victor Adame Mingi. Good. Uh, good. Uh, pull the Alaris. <clears throat> Buy some lands that I didn't catch. <clears throat> Kaldheim Realm Breaker. This is a good card. Uh, you have a Praetor. 10 tap. Sacrifice Praetor with Invasion Tree. Search your library for any number of Praetor cards. Put them on the battlefield and shuffle. So if you're going to play like Praetor Tribal, uh, Monastery Mentors back. Kitty, my guy. My guy, there's just, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, no toxic, but there's counter removal, so. Mirrored and Avenged, well. Oh, cat, you can't lay there, my guy. You're blocking light. Ugh. Oh, more. I guess we'll do the. Yeah, stack of lands. Here was the 30th anniversary, one of the two promos. There's three. Nip Mizzet. Grave Crawler. So I paid for a Grave Crawler. That's another thing. I paid for a Rooftop Storm today. Um, a grave and a grave crawler, so I could go infinite my zombie deck for commander. Uh, I traded. I pulled another Gryruta. I pulled a Gryruta, but I traded for the other companions that people had. Mm, here's a foil mountain. God, that's so cool with how this is like lighting up differently. Rotten Tail. <clears throat> Gimbal. Dark card. List slot. Was a five alarm fire. Five alarm. I got Ezri. Oh, it was also National Hockey Card Day. So there was like a, a thing with cards. I gave the rest of them away. I kept the Wayne Gretzky. Kind of funny, as him and the Oilers and not, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, Eric Gradian foil looks amazing. Um, you got a Tessa Karlov. Beautiful. Beautiful card. <clears throat> Tribute to the World Tree and foil. Oh, it's got some scratches. Hmm. Where's that guess at? I'm gonna go steal some sleeves or some shit. I am so fucking tired, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. <clears throat> These are all the commons, uncommons. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so I'll get these totals done up. Uh, see where we're at with it. It's a busy day. Really stupid busy. And with that, I thank you all for watching. And you have a good day. I mean, uh, get the total done. We'll get the total done up. Whatever. We got this. We got this. All right. So this is the the ninety four dollars listed here is completely wildly. I can't even describe to you because there's like two set boosters in here. There's the thirtieth anniversary play promo, which has no value, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, there's my six draft packs. There's the, well, the date stamp the promo isn't in here. It was the Glissa because she doesn't have a value. So I'm not going to bother. She's not even, I can't even get the printing for her. She's 60 cents in foil for the, meh. I don't expect her to go for much. She's OP. I don't expect her to go for much. The, then there was, uh, one of the guys at the shop. He was like doing my comments and uncommons. So those are all in here. Um, you know, I'd bought uh, Grave. I need a copy of Gravecrawler and Rooftop Storm. So those are in here. Like we are a lot of a lot of, a lot of things in this box right now that aren't really. Yeah. So again, the play promo, the Div uh, Mizzet. Um, so let's get down to where the value lives. All right, so biggest card ended up being the slime foot and squeed and regular printed and commander. Um, they're juned. Okay, green green saplings. Sa a saplings return slime foot and squeed to the target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. So you can like recover this commander from the battle I mean and just create sapperlings right um so that's kind of OP maybe I don't know we'll see uh fungus goblin city on fire going for about seven bucks right now enchantment convoke so you can convoke up, you know, tap up to five creatures to bring it down to three mana. If a source you would control would deal damage to a permanent player, it deals triple that damage ex instead. I have a deck that I was trying to build around these. We're just double, 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 double. <laughs> this one's triple. I'm so excited. Uh, tribute to the World Tree in foil is a gorgeous card. A mad mine has a little bit of scuffing. I traded it from a guy. Um... Very pretty card. Very powerful card. Not very powerful. I mean, whenever a creature enters the battlefield control, draw a card. If its power is three or uh, greater, otherwise, put two plus ones plus ones. So this is probably going to go in my Coven Counters deck. <laughs> Obviously, Gravecrawler. Uh, Gimbal, Gremlin, Prodigy, which is one of the commanders from the decks. Um. It's going for about three bucks. 
and non-foil. You already see the two dollar Um, people really want this thing in not, uh, foil. Cur they're probably worried about the curls. Let's see what else we pull. Monastery Mentor. Coming for 250. Grab a one wide mic creature token with prowess. Um... If we got a white spell deck, you could easily. Uh, Jengitha, the Wellspring, as always. I like this artwork for these other creatures. All right, from that set. This one, though, I, I think is my least liked. Sleep Oath, Denison. Justine, Mara, Anderson, that one's badass looking. Do I have any more in here? Yarl, <laughs> the stained glass. No, I don't have any more in here. Um, the Aura one looks pretty good too. Uh, Tessa Karlov, everyone loves, you know, always happy to have a Tessa. Her artwork's always beautiful. Uh, two, Moment of Truth, 21 cent, 79 cent in the foil, which is weird. Truth. Um, rooftop Storm, may he zero for rotating my cost for his own creature spell. Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree. The sacrifice Realm Breaker plus 10 mana. Uh, the Invasion Tree, search your library for any number of Praetor cards. Put them on the so if you want to do Praetor um, Tribal. <laughs> book 29, Book 25, there's some places. Realm Hopper, 3-2 th three, for 3. You can convoke them out. 50 cents. You get 85 cents for Loris. You know, 40 cents for order. This is where we start getting the pennies, but I just have so many cards worth 20 or 40 cents, you mean 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, that it ends up coming out to a high value. Um, these are all pre-release prices. I expect them all to drop unless you got some, you know, really good cards floating around in here. Um, like City on Fire, I expect to stay around that price, to be honest, because that's about how much the other double damage ones are going for. Is around the ten dollar mark. Um, I don't know about Slimefoot and Squee. I think it's just like a. This might be because it's the pre-release version. No, eleven forty-six for the. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. People like their dudes, like their Slimefoots and Squees. Now, what's interesting is four fifty for four seven. So there's like two cards in between them. So I wonder what those are. Um. Yeah, I might end up building a Phyrexian tribal deck, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'll get like Omnath or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Cause I could get like the the five color Omnath going. Um, actually, what is five color Omnath thing? Do 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 do. do. What's four color Omnath do? Draw a card, landfall, if it, yeah, yeah, we want that. We want this one. Phyrexian Elemental. If you'd be if you'd lose unspent mana, that mana comes back instead. It becomes black instead. If you lose unspent mana. Oh. Beginning of your uh pre combat main phase with the top card of your library, you may Lose maybe become black. Okay. Uh, 
I have to, f I'll have to ask some people with that mechanically. I'll look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if you've three or more colored mana symbols and it's mana cost. If you do add three mana in any combination of its colors, put into your hand. If you didn't reveal, put it into your hand. All right. I mean, that's for gassing people out. Hmm. I'm kind of bummed these multicolored Omnaths don't have flavor text. That'd be some pretty slick. Where did I have that card? Hmm. Oh, that girl lock is dope. Anyway, um, but yeah. This pre-release was kind of insane. Uh, I got third place. Man, my brain's fried. But I had fun. And pulled some cool cards, traded some cool ones, picked up some cool ones. It was just an overall fun day. And with that, I thank you for watching.